Pythagoras theorem. For any right angled triangle, we have two dot points. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the other two sides, point one. And point two, the hypotenuse is the longest side and is opposite the right angle. We'll talk about point two first. If I look at my triangle here, they've already labeled the hypotenuse. You will notice that it's opposite the right angle if I was to draw an arrow from the right angle outwards. You might also notice it looks like it's on a diagonal and it's the longest side. Now, if we go back to point number one, which says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the other two sides, a good way of illustrating this is to draw a right angled triangle. I'm just going to draw a reasonably small one that's right angled. And I'm going to say this side is 3, this side is 4, and this side is 5. So what do we mean by the square of each side? Well, let's draw a square on each side. Now this side with 3 would have a 3 by 3 square, or 9 little squares inside of it. The side of 4 will have a 4 by 4 square. How many squares will I have inside of that one? I'll have 16. And lastly, the hypotenuse will have a 5 by 5 square, which I am doing a terrible job of drawing right now. But the main thing is, is that we can count the squares. For this one, it'll be 25. Now notice what happens when you take the two shorter sides, the one with the 9, and the one with the 16, when you add them, you get 25, which is the hypotenuse squared. And that's what this formula is saying. It's saying if you square the two shorter sides, then add them, you will get the hypotenuse if it had been squared.